In this lecture, I will show you how to edit .txt file from ltspice using Python scripting. The first thing I want to show you is how to edit text file manually. It is very simple and straightforward. Now let's go to the course material directory. Let's open ltspice. Double click this .asc file. So this is the same schematic we have shown before as a RC low pass filter. We are gonna create the circuit file first. Once again, go to view, space netlist, right click, edit as independent netlist, save as a .cir file in the same directory. And go to File, Save As. We save as text file. Save. So now we have the text file. Uh, we want to edit the parameter. In this case, we want to change the resistor 1 and the capacitor 1. Because the values for R1 and R2 are defined as a parameter. We can easily change this parameter in text file so that the simulation will be changed accordingly. Now let's go to the text file. Uh, we can change this to 10K. And we can change this to 1 micro. And we save as. as a different name. We use underline to separate the different parameters. Underline res1 equals to 10K underline cap 1 equals 1 micro. So this is a separate text file. Save. So now we can run this simulation. If you hit this running man, everything will be run based on this syntax using the new parameter. Now let's move the mouse over the plot window. Right click, add traces. We can check V out. Hit OK. So this is the waveform given this parameter. Just for comparison purposes, we add the traces at V1. We can see in this case, V out is greatly attenuated because the pole is at a much lower frequency so that it has more attenuation in magnitude. You can see the magnitude is greatly reduced. This is how we edit the text file manually. The second method is to use Python to modify the text file automatically. This is the fundamental of automating LTSpice simulation. This is very important. The first thing is to open Spider. We choose the same directory for this lecture and open the given Python code. So there are uh, three cells as shown here. First, we can delete any variables in the console. And uh, we run this cell just to give the directory for the executable file for LTSpice. And also we import the subprocess. The second section is the code to automatically change the text file. Let's go over it line by line. Text underline original, which is a string variable, is defined as the text file we just created. This is the same name here. So this is the original text file. It's like the baseline. We are going to edit the text file based on this. The so original RES1 is 1K. Capacitor 1 original is 0 0.1 micro. So this tool will be used to look for the parameter we are going to change. First of all, the original text file will be read into Python as the original data. Specifically, we will open this text file in read mode as binary data. We read this data as data underline original. This is the variable to save the data. And inside this variable, 
we use replace to replace the original variables with new variables. And we use encoding ASIC2 to get the correct data. The new variable is res1 equals to 10k. This is the new variable. And remember, res1 underline original is the original variable as 1k. So we replace it by 10k. We use backslash to continue the code in the next line. Also, we replace cap1 original by this string, which is cap1 equals to 1 micro. By doing that, we can change the text file as we did manually. The last step is to open a new text file. We call it new underline python.txt in write mode as a binary data. Finally, we save this temporary data as into this new text file. Let's run the current cell. So everything looks good. The variables are shown here in variable explorer window. The new data should be saved as this name. Now let's go to the directory to double check. Let's go to this file has been newly created. The name is the same as we defined. Let's open it. As we explained, this parameter has been updated automatically by Python. Resistor value R1 is 10k, and the capacitor value C1 is 1 micro. Let's close it, and then we're going to run it by Python. That's going to be the last cell. We're going to run this text file in LTSpice in batch mode. Once we run it, we can see the raw data has been created. Now let's go to LTSpice, open. We want to open the raw data, which is created by Python. This is the plot window for the new raw data. We do the same procedure to double check the input and output. Hit OK. We can see input is plotted in green, output is in blue. This is the same waveform as we did manually. You can accomplish all the steps we just did by click Run in Spider. Let's remove all variables for now and hit this Run button. Or you can use F5 as a shortcut key. By clicking the Run, we just implemented all the codes shown here. If you go to the same directory, you can see all the data related to the code has been updated accordingly. Now this concludes the editing of the text file by using Python scripting. To recap, first we study how to edit the text file manually, which is very simple to do. Then we use Python scripting to edit the text file automatically. The last step is to use Python scripting in batch mode to run text file. And we generate the raw data in the batch mode. Remember, this is the fundamental of automating LTSpice simulation. Thank you very much. See you next time.